Hi everyone, today we are now getting ready to react to one of 2091 Rivera Israel's video and as you know Jerry finally uploaded yesterday on the new premiere video that he uploaded and it's going to be Scooby Doo series of 2023 and, it, and today's episode we're reacting to episode 1 Hudson Mad Madness. So let's get this reaction started. It's been weeks since Fred gave Daphne and Shaggy a concussion, and yet they haven't left their rooms yet. I'm actually getting concerned. Shaggy, Scooby is everything alright in there? No answer. That's very odd. Hey, maybe he and Scooby are asleep. I'll just check on them to make sure that they are okay. Shaggy, Scooby, I'm coming in. Shaggy, Scooby. Oh my god, I don't believe my eyes. They actually did leave. No, this can't be. They have to be somewhere. Daphne, are you in here? Oh. Daphne is not here either. This is very bad. The three could be in a lot of trouble. Velma, would you oh. shut up? I'm trying to watch TV downstairs and Fred. with you talking at nothing but midair. What the heck are you doing in Daphne's room anyway? Oh, nothing special. Yeah, right. Like, I'm honestly uh. going to believe that crap. I know you are up to something, Velma. And unless you want a concussion, you will explain yourself oh, could at you? once. Fine. I went to check on Shaggy and Scooby only to not find them in their room. The same with Daphne. I'm just worried that they may be in yeah, trouble Yeah, she's telling the truth, Fred. Is that a problem? So, those three dummies decided to run away after all. Who cares? They were idiots anyway. <gasps> we'll be better off without them. And I gave them four minutes before they come crawling back. That's Fred, rude. How could you say things like that? They are still a part of our gang. Stop making the house shake or I'll give you a concussion. And for crying out loud, stop acting like you're their mother. I hate you with a deep passion, Fred. I heard that Dinkley, man, Velma is just so irritating at times. But whatever. Now is not the time for anger this time. But now is the time for celebration. No more idiots in my house. <gasps> Who could that be? Oh, that's the police. Oh, brother. Who the heck can that be? Can't I celebrate in peace? Yeah, what the heck is it? Hello to you, too. Oh, <gasps> Daphne. You know, Fred, it doesn't hurt to say hello to visitors once and a while. Jeez. Well, well, well. Look who decided to come crawling back. Was the outside world too much for a brain-dead idiot like you, Shaggy and Scooby? And what the heck are you wearing? You look atrocious, but at least that's you Daphne. have to change your clothes for once. Good for you on that. At least that's some accomplishment. Oh yeah, and that's coming from a person who never changes out of that stupid sweater and pants. If you must know these clothes are for my job. Wait, did you just say, job? Are you deaf or something, friend? Or are you just trying to feign stupidity and annoy me? He's of deaf. course I said job, you idiot. So wait, you, a brain-dead idiot, actually have a job now? For the last time, friend, yes. <laughs> what are you laughing? <laughs> yeah, right. What job is it? Staring at your phone 24 hours a day. Or better yet, trying to learn what a brain is. <laughs> what are you laughing? <laughs> if you must know Fred Jones, I'm a reporter and news anchor. <laughs> it's not funny. Sure you are. Yeah, yeah. Laugh it up, Jones. My clothes are over four thousand dollars. You're acting like ammo. dollars. How much of my money did you three idiots steal? First of all, don't you go giving me an attitude like that, Fred Jones. Yeah. Second, I never used your money, you idiot. I used my own money. Whoa! Well, did Daphne Blake just scream back at me? Never has this happened. Just what the heck is going on here? I will find out right this second. All right, who the heck are you? And where is the real Daphne Blake? She's right no there! Because of your act. I'm not going to stand here and continue to listen to you all day, friend. I came here to see Vilma. Now either go get her, or get out of my face, and I'll do it myself. Fine, whatever. Anything to get you out of my house, whoever the heck you are. Oh. I'm Daphne, you moron. Stop pretending that you don't know. Oh my me. god. I'm careless. Vilma, get your butt down here <gasps> right a second or I will smash your laptop. Some girl in an ugly dress wants to see you. You know, Fred, 
that threat is getting really old really fast. Anyway, who wanted to see me? Hi Vilma. Oh my god, Daphne, I'm so glad you are alright. Wait, what happened to you? You don't look like yourself. That's because I'm wearing something different. I'm a news anchor and reporter now. Daphne, you, you actually got a job. After all of these years of being addicted to social media, people change Vilma. You've really changed and grown up, Daphne. I'm really proud of you. Aw, thank you, Vilma. That means a lot to me. Look, whoever or whatever you are, if you are going to say something to Vilma, get it over with. I want to watch TV already. Fine. Vilma, would you like to come with me, Shaggy, and Scooby to the Hudson Casino? Oh. Lots of technology to study. Hudson Casino, you are out of your mind. That is the most expensive casino in all of Coville. I was talking to Vilma, not you. Besides, I wouldn't invite you anywhere even if my life depended on it. Hudson's moonshine isn't as good anyway. Wait, did you just say moonshine? What have I done? Oh. In. Best of Wait. all, I'm not using moonshine? my money this time. Ha 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 ha. I just had to open my mouth. So much for a reunion. Come on, Daphne. Who knows, maybe it will be different since Fred isn't paying uh, his uh, Why is he getting moonshine? How old is he? Alright, now uh, to get Are they the supposed to be in high school? No need. We'll take my because they, they, oh, yeah. they are high schoolers. Is that but except for Scooby, because he's, oh, he's a dog. See. Yes, Daphne. We're ready, Shaggy. Come in and pick us up. Oh, and one more thing. We may have a stowaway joining us. You gotta be kidding. Do we really have to bring Fred with us? We don't have a choice, Shaggy. Let's just get this over with. We're waiting right in front of the house. Is that idiot coming or not? This is getting irritating. No one is talking to you, Fred. Sorry about that, Shaggy. Let me guess. You slipped up, didn't you? Yes. Yes, I did. Looks like we don't have a choice at this point. All right, we're on our way. Good. They are coming now. About time. Now let's get a look at this so-called car you have. I bet it's a piece of crap, any. Whoa. There she is. Beautiful, isn't she? That's incredible. This can't be right. Daphne is one of the biggest idiots in <gasps> all of And this car, this is a Rolls Royce Wraith. There is no way she bought this. There has to be an explanation for this. Wait, of course. She obviously stole it. Oh, I get it. Daphne stole someone's credit card again and oh. attempted to buy another crappy Rolls Royce. Fred, just get in the car. Oh. We don't go all day. <laughs> Hello, Velma. Nice to see you again. Shaggy, is that you? In the flesh. It's good to see you, Velma. Scooby. Now let's have a blast. I will be happy to. Whatever. Let's get this crap over with. I'm only doing this Quit the yeah, Quit yeah, with yeah, the attitude, Fred! Just shut up and get in the car. Christ. Tell me what to do again, and I will give you both a concussion. Now get out of my way. I'm not going to let it bother me. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Daphne, are you all right? I'm fine, Vilma. Let's just go. Swear, the Hudson Casino is going to be so epic. Oh, Abel Shaggy. This is incredible. These seats are really comfy, and it is a lot roomier in this wraith than it is in the mystery machine. Shut up, Vilma. <gasps> Leave my van out of it. So, whoever you are, how did you get this Rolls Royce wraith anyway? I bet you, you stole it, didn't you? Remind us again why we have to bring him. Yeah, Daphne, do remind us. I was an idiot and mentioned moonshine, that's why. And for your information, friend, I bought this car with my own money. It's not still a new idiot. Yeah, right. Perhaps it would be wise to change the subject. Like how have you three been the last several weeks? We have been great, Vilma. I just covered a story on a man in a mask scaring people yesterday, and Shaggy just got done with a concert just four hours earlier before we came to get you. Yawn. Seriously, oh. lady. You are liable enough to put someone in a coma every time you open your mouth. Fred, knock it off. Look, I have a better idea. Let's just play the radio. What a glorious idea. Yeah. Shaggy, could I wonder you what music we're playing. Turn on the radio. My pleasure. Oh, no. Now we are going to get a rate from Justin Cancer. Superman? Or worse. Theme song? One direction. Fred, shut it back there. <laughs> you are trying my last nerve. You didn't even hear what Shaggy was going to play on the radio. So I suggest you keep quiet. And if I don't? Then I will turn this car around oh. right now and bring you back to your house. And no precious moonshine for you. Turn this car around and I will bury you under it. Oh yeah, watch me. Damn it. Fine. But I'm only conceding because I want moonshine. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now then, Shaggy, would you please turn on the radio? Gladly. 
Oh. There we go. Music to my ears. Agreed. Now let's what, I don't see what music is What in. the hell are you three idiots boasting about this time? Oh my god. Shaggy, is that you too? I haven't heard that band since the 80s. Velma, get a brain, will you? You were never in the 80s. It was just Shaggy, Scooby, Daphne, and that little annoying mud scrappy crap. Jeez, thanks for ruining the mood, Fred. And FYI, we were in the 80s. We showed up later in the new Scooby-Doo when the show was almost ending. Aha, uh -huh, sure you idiot. Cut it out back there, Fred Jones. Or so help us, we'll turn this car around. God, I feel like I just went from a normal hippie man to father of incompetent overnight. Tell me about it. I swear if you threaten me one last time, I will break all of your necks with my bare hands. Now let's just shut up and get there already. Fine with us. After 45 minutes of driving, the gang reaches the Hudson Casino in downtown Coolville. We made it. Come on, everyone. Let's have some fun. Let's do it. Come on, Scoob. Destiny calls for us. Heck yeah. Finally, I can have me some moonshine. Oh. Welcome to Hudson. We think you'll enjoy it here greatly. I'm liking it already. This is one fancy establishment. Trust me, Velma. You have no idea. I'm going to enjoy a night at the spa. Velma, if you want to look at the latest technology around the casino, feel free to look around. I will, Daphne. Thanks for the advice. Oh, and one more thing. Here, take this. In case you want to get something. I will. Thank you so much, Daphne. Good. Now I can try and find the bar around here and taste some of that moonshine. Now, Fred, don't oh. overdo it. We'll let you do it just this once because we are two people and a dog of our word. But we hope you do not make us regret bringing you here. Jesus, what the hell are you three supposed to be? My gang members or my parents? I know what I am doing for crying out loud. You didn't even bring your money for the moonshine, didn't you? I did so. Fine then, let's see it. Gladly. Alright. Oh! <laughs> I left my credit card back at the house. Well, uh -oh. we're waiting. You didn't bring the money. I just know you didn't buy that expression. Oh, Fred, you we idiot! Have known that you were expecting us to pay for everything. Well done. <laughs> Velma and me here. So the joke's on you three. You have no choice but to pay for us. That means you three have to give me some money as well for oh. moonshine. First of all, let's get one thing clear here. We did not invite you. The only reason you're here was because Daphne messed up and brought up moonshine. Second, we only invited Velma. Yeah, well, too bad. I'm here now. And part of the guest's code of honor, you have to treat me as such as well. Unless you want the world to look at you three like you are bad hosts. That's blackmail. No, it is not. It's being a host. Blackmail. You're a reporter, whoever you are. I think you should know what the term host means. I swear, if he pretends to not know who I am one more time. Well, idiots. Turn him into a human pretzel like Lori was doing. Fine. You and this frown friend, we will pay for your stupid moonshine. But you better not go overboard because if you do, our night is ruined. That's more like it. Now cough up, idiots. Here's our credit card. We expect you to not go over our budget. If you do, we're going to have a problem. Shut up, you brain-dead idiots. If he wasted. I have been handling money longer than any of you, and you guys were the ones to always screw me over financially. I know exactly what I'm doing. He's God. definitely going to get drunk. And it's illegal. Oh. What the hell? Why the heck are both of your idiot names on the stupid thing? Who the heck shares a bank account? That's just idiotic. Christ, and he calls us idiots. Let's just forget about him. We came to have fun, and we're not going to let Fred ruin it for us. I'm off to the spa. You want to join me, Shaggy and Scooby? We would love to, Daphne, but unfortunately we have to say no. Scooby and I plan on hanging around the comedy show that is playing tonight. It's true, Daphne. We wish you would have told us this before Shaggy and I already made reservations when we got here. But don't worry. We'll do it next time, Daphne. That's all right with me. You boys have fun. Let me know how the show went. We will meet back here in a couple of hours. You got it, Daphne. Come on, school. Let's go and have a good time. Meanwhile, at the Hudson Casino Bar. In the Hudson Casino Bar. At last, I'm at the bar. Now let's go and get some moonshine. He is definitely going to get drunk. Oh, 
my, I think I'm going to cry. If I'm dreaming, do not wake me up. <laughs> Excuse me, can I help you, sir? Oh. As a matter of fact, yes. I would like to order a bottle of moonshine if you would be so kind. Oh, you want moonshine? But of course, which brand are you interested in? You know, that is a very good question. Okay, I'll bite. What other brands do you have here at Hudson? Well, for today's special, we normally serve Climax Moonshine, along with our casino's very own brand Moonshine known as Hudson. So we have two brands, sir. Quite the choices. Give me a bottle of Climax. I wish to try that first. Of course, sir. Here you go. That would be $785, please. Seven so reasonable. $700. Thank you, sir. $1,000, she said? That's a lot of money. Wow, this stuff sure is strong. I'm loving every bit of it. Wow, that one was amazing. And I just know that the Hudson one will be just as good as well. I beg your pardon, miss. I would like to purchase another Climax. Also, while you're at it, I wouldn't mind trying out the Hudson-based moonshine as well. Oh? Well, of course, sir. But the Hudson moonshine is a lot more expensive than the Climax. <laughs> oh, it would be fun, miss. Bring it on me, I can take it. And while you're at it, I will proudly pay for two more bottles of Climax. Very well, sir. Oh. That's a lot of... There you go, sir. Both bottles of Climax alone are $1,570. With the Hudson brand moonshine alone, $1,700. So that raises the total to over $10,570. Nothing I can handle. That's a lot of money. Here you go. Thank you again, sir. Enjoy your moonshine. All right, let's do this. Using Daphne and Shaggy's credit card. Freddie would go on to purchase four cases of moonshine, which in total cost about what? $11,355? Meanwhile, back at with, with the gang. <laughs> Oh my Absolutely. god! Sure was That's a lot of I am money You're not the only he is one. spending. I'm glad you liked it, Vilma. I always did like to eat here. I got Shaggy and Squee hooked to this place. Ain't that the truth? It feels so good to actually do something for once without Fred raging or smashing things. This feels almost like actual fun for once. I know, right? Speaking of Fred, where is he anyway? Right here. Well now, Fred, <gasps> oh. you look pretty happy tonight. You have no idea. The moonshine, he was glorious. Oh, well, good to know. We just finished eating. Can we have our card back? We need to pay for our meal before we take you and Velma back home. Knock yourself out. Ooh. Now, I'm going to go wait in the car. Oh, I hope he better I not this spend is it. Gang for once. He, he better just not once. spend it all. Fred actually didn't rage or smash anything. I agree, Velma. It sure feels good to have fun for once. Would that be all, miss? Yes, that would be all. Here you go. Thank you, miss. I will ring this up right now. Oh, and keep the $40 tip. You've earned it, sir. I had That's so nice. much fun tonight, you three. The technology in this casino was just amazing. Thank you, you three. It's not often we get to have fun without Fred raging and destroying everything. It's nothing, Velma. We're happy to have invited you. Heck yeah. Shaggy, Scooby, and I were planning this for four weeks, and... Miss, I fear that what we the... may have a problem. What is it? Miss Blake, I regret to inform you that you are in the negative range. What? What does that mean? It means that there are no more funds in your card, Miss Blake, and that your card has been declined. What? <gasps> well, that is impossible. Daphne, Scooby and I saved up to a grand total of $11,000 for this night. We only spent two grand today. We are sorry, Mr. Rogers, but your card has been declined. <gasps> you better check your bank. Thank you for telling us, sir. Scooby, open up our account and find out what is going on. Already on it. How can this happen? It better not be who I think it is. You got that right, oh, Shaggy. Let's All see. right, Simon. Now let's see what the problem is here. All right, let's see. Coolville National Bank and checking account on this and saving account. That is the account of Daphne and Shaggy. All right, trend say transaction history on Hudson's Bob 
moonshine a lot and wow, look at this. This is how Fred spent it all. Oh my god. Hudson Cafe is declined. Total balance is minus 47. Oh my god. Fred just spent the whole money of Shaggy and Daphne's credit card money. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't believe it. That idiot wiped out our entire account on Moonshine. We are now in Over the moonshine. range now. I knew it. Fred is so going to get it when we get out there. We're terribly sorry, sir. Is there anything we can do to make it up to you people? Well, if you four can help us by washing dishes for a few hours, you can make up for the bill. We'll do it. Whoa. Six hours later, after the after the chores they have to do. Man. I just can't oh get enough of my this hot God. moonshine. Fred, <gasps> get your pathetic drunken ass out of my car right now. Oh, wonderful. It's the girl who is pretending to be Daphne again. Oh, what my God. What the heck does she want now? What the heck do you want this time, you crummy Daphne ripoff? Uh, <laughs> it's a Frederick Jones. One have had enough of your antics and you pretending not to know who I am. You ruined our whole night. <laughs> and that. That's it. It's concussion time. <gasps> <laughs> what are you laughing? You idiots give me a concussion. Oh. It's not funny. <laughs> Good one, Daphne. Nice shot, Daphne. You don't know how many years I've wanted to do that. For once, Fred got a taste of his own medicine. It sure feels good to give him a concussion time for once. Yeah. Agreed. Hop in, Roma. Shaggy Scooby and I will take you home. Fred can walk back. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. That was hilarious. Alright, if you guys like this video, please make sure you subscribe, drop a like, and comment below. And make sure you also follow me on X, turn notifications so you never miss a video. And go subscribe to Jerry's account, 2091 Rivera Israel. And also go follow him on X since since it is he has Twitter which it's changed to X. Alright, see you on the next reaction soon. And this is Evan Biden Palma signing off. And and be prepared for soon on part two on Loud House movie, the final showdown since part two is still on the works right now. Since the movie was taken so long after the announcement on 2091 of Israel. See you soon, everyone.